Could Scotland be wealthier as an independent nation? This is a difficult question for many people thinking about Scottish independence, but it's a key one. Data from the UK government's own Office for National Statistics proves that Scotland possesses 34% of the UK's natural wealth with 8.4% of the UK's population. That means Scotland is 400% more naturally wealthy than the UK overall. Renewable energy is our future. Scotland generates 26% of the UK's renewables, including 90% of its hydropower. In fact, in 2017, 69% of Scotland's energy needs were generated from renewable sources. That's 45% higher than the rest of the UK. More than that, with only 1% of its population, Scotland possesses a massive 25% of Europe's offshore wind and tidal power resources, and an amazing 10% of its wave power potential. It helps that Scotland has 32% of the UK's landmass and a staggering 62% of the UK's offshore maritime area, meaning Scotland's territory is actually larger overall than England's. So it's no surprise that Scotland produces 96% of the UK's crude oil and 63% of its natural gas. We also contribute 70% of the UK's fish landings. Scotland is famous for its rugged beauty. But did you know that our countryside contains 90% of the UK's total fresh water? A commodity in short supply in the southeast of England. We also contribute 60% of the UK's timber production. It is this natural habitat that gives Scotland our great reputation for top quality food and drink. It's no surprise that in the last year, Scotland's GDP was £900 per head higher than the UK's, and Scotland's government revenues were £600 per head higher. So yes, not only could Scotland be wealthier as an independent nation, it should be wealthier. It should also be more successful, fairer, sustainable, and are people more prosperous than we are as part of the underperforming UK economy. This is why more and more people are coming to realise that it's time to believe in Scotland. Want to know more? You will find these facts and hundreds more about the Scottish economy, its finances, independence and Brexit in our new book, Scotland the Brief.